high fans of high quality entertainment. I was at, notice I changed my background a little bit here. And I didn't change my cat though. It's still Jinx. So I had ordered on Amazon the, uh, the four new Paul McCartney releases of uh, remastered live albums. But the only one that came in, yeah, I guess the other three are coming in next week. So the only one I, I received was this one. Uh, Paul McCartney, I don't know how you say that, Amoba, Amoba? Amo, am, amuba, amoba gig, amoba gig. And this is the one of, of the four that I ordered that I was most interested in, so I'm glad this is the one that arrived. And I even went to Belleville, and they have two record stores at the Quinney Mall, and the only one they had was this one, and there was only one copy of it. They didn't have the other three, so I don't know what happened there, but on Amazon, they'll, they'll be out next week. So first, I'll open this last. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you Beatles fans will have to either skip ahead 10 minutes or... Just watch me open up other stuff you might not be interested in. Now, first of all, this is something, uh, an artist I've, I don't think I've talked about too much. And this came out in the early 70s, I think 1972, and my brother had bought it. And actually his previous album, my other brother had bought, and, and I kind of pretty much liked it. But this one, you know, my one brother would let me play his vinyl records, and I love this. And so I, it's my favorite Harry Nilsson album, even today. And of course on this is, uh, I believe, yeah, George Harrison, Ringo Starr, Peter Frampton. Uh, and whoever else, I'll read the credits if there's anyone I forgot. And this comes with uh, Bona. And this comes with uh, bonus tracks. What's Your Sign, previously unreleased. Take 54, alternate take. Campo Encino, previously unreleased. And Daybreak, single version. My favorite songs on this would have to be Remember Christmas, Joy, Turn on your radio, Spaceman. I mean, they're all, ex I actually love every song, but my favorite out of them all would be the most beautiful world in the world. Nicky Hopkins, he played on a lot of Rolling Stones albums, he's on it. If you've never heard Harry Nilsson, and there's also an excellent documentary that used to be on Netflix, I'm not sure if it is now. And that was the original inner sleeve of the vinyl. And as some of you know, all of the Beatles were big Harry Nilsson fans. And of course he was friends with Ringo and John.
Yeah, so Klaus Bormann, Peter Frampton, Bobby Keys, Harry Nelson, of course. Produced by Richard Perry, Ray Cooper from Milton John's band, Chris Spedding. So lots of uh, talent on this album. And what was really shocking about the one song called You're Breaking My Heart is it had the F word in it. And back in the early 70s, except for, of course, John Lennon's Plastic Ono band, it, wasn't, it was very rare to hear swearing, especially the f-bomb in a song but it's a funny song you're breaking my heart you're tearing it apart so you <laughs> And by the way, I also bought a rock band, a book by a, uh, one of my favorite rock bands, which I will also show you. So, probably no surprise, I picked up a couple more Van Morrison albums. Now this one, uh, I know Van Morrison has kind of disowned, it was kind of, he, I think he was doing a bunch of 45s or, or singles with, you know, a sides and B sides and the record company or whatever just threw threw them together and made this album. But I heard it on and I'd heard you know it's not one of his best and uh, the best songs are at the beginning of it. But I listened to it on Spotify yesterday and I enjoyed it all. And also, I every Van Morrison album I have bought I have absolutely loved. More, some more than others, but. Uh, I was listening to en Enlightenment again last night, and like every song, I loved. So, this is blowing your mind on Bang Records. She's upset that I never mentioned about scanning booklets. It comes with a booklet I can scan, Jinxie. There it is. Oh, actually, oh, this will be a little more difficult to, to scan. That's cool. This poster. Right up. The only thing, uh, I think it's a fairly short, short album. 13 songs, but they're all like, you know, two, three minutes long. There's one that's, uh, wow, almost 10 minutes long. Wow. And one more Van Morrison CD. This old man has not reorganized his CDs yet. Yeah, the other Van Morrison CD or album I bought is Beautiful beautiful vision. Speaking of beautiful vision, Molly will be here, guaranteed, on the 23rd. So soon after the 23rd, you should see some videos with us. She'll be here for five days. And it comes with a scannable booklet, although it's not really, it's just that's the one thing that's kind of frustrating for us Van Morrison fans is his albums are all over the place and some are really hard to, you know, they're expensive to buy. I know I've uh, some viewers have told me about Discog.com and they are a lot cheaper there, so I will in time definitely get 
these other early albums that I don't have yet, like Veden Fleece. We're two away from the Paul McCartney unboxing. And I picked this up. I, I, I believe on Rate Your Music, it actually had a better rating than their more popular live album, an earlier live album. And this is Expand. <laughs> That's funny. The, what I've said about double, double album, albums. That's a hard word for me to say. Anyway, I bought this. Yes. Yes, yes shows. But I'm la I was laughing there because the clip already broke as soon as I <laughs> undid it there. There you go. It's broken already. Dang you, double, double CD. Dang you, double CDs. That's what I'm trying to say. And if you can pause it, there, there's all the songs on it. And, and this is why you should not buy CDs, because, you know, the cases are always breaking. Just, just stick to... Stick to... Digital, like online digital downloading crap. <laughs> so, but I'll find another older CD somewhere that I never play and I'll replace this case. Nice artwork again, of course, as always, by Roger Dean. I keep wanting to say yes songs because he's there. Now that's a good booklet to scan. And I I recently listened to uh, the Yes of Today performing, performing, 2019, and it wasn't very good, I'm sorry to say. There's no Yes without John, John Anderson, as far as I'm concerned. Now, there's an upcoming book on Yes with the same series, but this one is already available, so I'm looking forward to reading as I said, one of my favorite all-time bands. Blue Easter Cult. Every album, every song. And I, uh, just a couple days ago, they announced that they're, after quite a few years, they're making a new album. So that'll be a good read. Oh, there's no picture. Oh, there are. There are pictures. <laughs> so disappointing, no pictures. I just buy books for the pictures. The, possibly the most underrated guitarist, Buck, Donald Rozier, Parma, whoever you pronounce it. Great live band, too. And then just quite a good uh, read up on all of the albums. Well, unfortunately, I don't have time to unbox the Paul McCartney CD. <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd actually be funny. <laughs> Here it is.
And someone was questioning uh, Paul is Live. Uh, the better live album I've heard is Tripping the Live Fantastic. And so people were kind of questioning why that wasn't released, or at least also. Now, these stickers, you always keep these. Very important. So there it is. I do remember uh, on YouTube, it's been on on YouTube for quite a few years when he's singing here today and he breaks down. So that'll be very, very touching to hear again. Disappointingly, there's really nothing to scan unless you want me to scan the CD. Oh, this CD sounds excellent. And he says, this has to be the most surreal gig ever. The, man the management has asked me to point out no shoplifting pleats. <laughs> and I have, no, I have no idea what he's saying, all of the songs. Let's see. Drive my car, only mama knows. Dance tonight. Sea moon. The long and winding road. I'll follow the sun. Calico Skies. Calico? 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 I don't know. That was me, Blackbird, here today, back in the USSR. Nod your head. House of Wax. Excellent. One of his most underrated songs. I've got a feeling. Matchbox. Get Back. Babyface. Hey Jude. Let it be, Lady Madonna, and I saw her standing there. And that's it. So, yeah, kind of a little disappointing that there's, that's all there is to this, but looking forward to listening to it. It's, it's all about listening anyway. It's not about the physical. <laughs> so thanks for watching and have a great day.